Okay, hey TCS viewers, it's Chris Nichols here, of course, but I've got a little bit of a different video for you today. I'm not doing a camera review per se, but uh, instead, kind of a showcase of a product that I want to try out. Now, here's the thing. Jordan will constantly remind you guys at home of how insecure I am. And certainly, I do want to feel a little bit more secure, a little bit more safe. And here's the backstory to it. Now, of course, I'm kind of a you know big deal on YouTube now. And all the trolls, all the anonymous barbaric comments, and all the followers, and all the fan mail, that's all great. But check out some of these comments. Uh, I know they might seem flattering and cute at first, but some of these people might want to turn me into a suit. So I'm a little bit scared. In fact, I'm quite terrified. I got the family, I got a brand new baby, you know, new house, and I want to feel safe. So I bought this new product. It's the Panasonic Home Network Security System. And I know there's a lot of these new smart Wi-Fi setups that you can get. And I got this one because it looks very easy to set up. Now, I haven't installed it or anything like that. I'm going to do all of that here with you guys, document what's going on, get this stuff all installed, see how easy it is to use, and hopefully get to feel safe again. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so let's look at the system. I'm gonna talk about the accessories in just a bit, but this is the heart of the system, this hub. Now it's very cool, hooks right up to my home network and connects to my phone as well. Now what I can do is just one touch connect these devices to these. It's super easy to set up. I've even got a micro SD card in here. So let's say somebody breaks into my house because they're really upset about my XC10 review or maybe they want to like find hair or something or maybe kidnap me to what I could only assume would be a sex dungeon because I mean look at me, it's incredible. So what happens is it can record footage up to 15 minutes right on this micro SD card and then hopefully the police will be able to track down who's kidnapped me off of this footage. Now there's some other cool stuff here. You guys gotta remember that there's no monthly fees and any sort of triggers that go off on the cameras or door sensors or water leak sensors, it notifies me right to my phone no matter where I am. So whether it be a crazy stalker or somebody coming home early or even just somebody trying to deliver a package to the door, I can get the notification, communicate even with the person right through my phone, through the microphones here, or notify the police or whatever else I need to do. I mean, it's a pretty powerful, flexible system. Okay, so of course the cameras are a big part of this. Now I can live view any of these on my phone at any time, but this is the indoor camera. This is kind of cool. It's got motion detection, of course, it's got the, the camera itself, but it also has temperature sensors and sound sensors. So, you know, I'm gonna use this as a baby cam. This is perfect, you know, if the baby starts crying, it'll, you know, trigger off the sensor and then I can get a notification of that. I can always see her, she's sleeping, make sure she's doing okay, and it even plays lullabies, believe it or not. Now, the outdoor cameras are really cool because these are fully sealed. Minus 20 to plus 50 degrees Celsius, no problem. These have the motion detection as well, the microphones you can talk through and hear what's going on. But they also have night vision IR sensors, so in complete darkness, they can still see if somebody's coming towards you or you know going to the thing, gonna break into the house, or whatever, so really, really handy and uh, totally mountable on this ball joint. I'm excited to get this installed. All right, so that's the last of the cameras installed. Honestly, it was the physical installation that took, you know, 20 minutes or so. Getting them all synced up, it's just pushing a button for a few seconds, the thing beeps and it's hooked up, and I can unplug them, move them around, and of course, it's gonna remember the connection. There's all four of my feeds ready to go. Ah. Here's another cool thing about this system, it's the smart plug. Now what's really neat is you just saw, I can set up these scenarios so that for example, if the door opens or camera's motion detector picks up or sound or anything else, I can have electrical equipment like lights turn on, anything that you could plug into a standard household plug setup. So, you know, if you start thinking about it, the possibilities are endless. I mean, think about waking up in the morning, getting your phone out, pushing a button, and then your coffee maker turns on. Or you could use it as a nightlight. You're stumbling around, you wanna get a meal in the middle of the night, you go down the stairs, camera sees you, light turns on. It could be stereo equipment, TVs. I mean, really, you can spend the rest of your life sorting out scenarios and programming setups for all sorts of stuff to happen in your house. Now there's tons of other accessories you can get to round out your system. This is a glass break sensor, it's pretty cool. So for example, um, our Pentax users, we love them, we love our Pentax fans, but if you insult their cameras, they're slightly overzealous in their response. So let's say they try to throw a giant rock through my window. This is gonna detect the sound as it smashes and notify me. 
classic window door sensor. If somebody opens a door or opens a window, this will send a triggering response. And again, you can tie that in with things like smart plugs and stuff really easily. And this is cool. I installed my dishwasher myself so it could leak at any moment and flood my entire house. This is a water leak sensor. I can set it up near the floor and if it detects a puddle of water, again, sends me a notification at work and I can get somebody here to take care of it. So really cool stuff, lots of neat accessories. And again, the possibilities for building up your own scenarios are virtually endless. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for joining me. I just want to kind of show you this technology that I think is really interesting. I booked the whole day off to shoot, but we got it done really quick because it was so easy to set up. So time to play a little bit of Fallout 4, you know, get with PlayStation and have a good time and relax for the rest of the day. Thanks very much guys. Have a great day. He did super sledge. This is cool. Who are you? Creepy dude. Oh, don't know you. Never mind. Dude, what are you doing in my backyard? Shit, I left the door open. Come on. This is my panic room because I am in a room and I am panicking. Okay, I see. Oh, he's going downstairs. Okay, be quiet. Okay. It's okay, Chris. It's a bathroom lock. They're basically impenetrable unless you have a bobby pin or any sort of other small straight object. Oh my god. Chris, are you in there? Ah, no way. Dude, it's Jordan. Just take my underwear! Jordan doesn't even wear hats, I know that's what you came for! What? We... We said we are gonna shoot a video! I don't wanna shoot a video in your sex session! Well, I guess, uh, I guess that's been Camera Store TV for this week. Um, hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Chris!